Well, good morning everyone. It's good to be with you again today. And although I can't see you, I know that you're there and that you're listening in and I really hope that you're all keeping safe and well today. It's a strange time that we're in at the moment, isn't it, I suppose? Um, but it's even more important to stay strong and to keep on going, whatever we're doing whether we're at school, whether we're at home, whether we're playing with friends or just being with family, whatever we're doing, it's really important to stay safe. And I know that whatever you're doing, you're all being really well looked after and cared for. And it's good to remind ourselves as well that we are, each one of us, cared for by God because God loves us, God looks after us, and God keeps us safe. And we know that God loves us because he showed us how much he loved us through his son Jesus, who lived among us and taught us how we should live and how we should love each other as well. And I think it's really important to know that God loves us. It gives us encouragement and it helps us to be bold and to be strong. Which reminds me of a song that, wow, I've not sung it for quite a while really. It's an old song, but it's a good one with all sorts of actions, if you can remember them. But if you can't, don't worry, you could just make it up. Or you could just sing along or hum along or even just listen to it, whatever you're allowed to do at the moment. So, let's have a listen or let's sing along to the song, Be Bold, Be Strong. Well, that's a really nice song all about being bold and strong and having courage. So now let's pray together. Lord, help us to be bold and help us to be strong. Help us to be brave and help us to be courageous. Give us generous hearts and kind words to say to each other. And help us never to forget your love, your kindness, your generosity to us. You, God, love us through and through, and nothing will ever change that. Thank you for the gift of your Son, Jesus. Thank you that you are always with us wherever we go. And we offer our prayer in the name of Jesus. Amen. 
Our story from the Bible today is all about some people who made a long journey to go and see Jesus. How many people were there, I wonder? Let me count them up on my two hands. There was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There were ten men who went to see Jesus. And these ten men had a terrible disease called leprosy. So they were known as lepers. There are still some parts of the world where there is leprosy, but thankfully uh, not in many places now. But it was a terrible disease where people were very poorly, with poorly hands, very poorly skin and feet and faces. It was a really, really bad thing. Nobody would, would go near them. Nobody would touch them, just in case they caught leprosy as well. So they had to leave their homes and all that was familiar, and they had to go and live by themselves, a long way from home, a long way from everybody that they knew. And this is really where our story picks up. I'm going to tell you the story and show you some pictures as well. So here goes. On the way to Jerusalem, Jesus was passing between Samaria and Galilee. As he was entering a village, ten men with leprosy met him. They stood at a distance, raised their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. When Jesus saw them, he said, Go and show yourselves to the priests. And as they went along, they were cleansed. Then one of them, when he saw he was healed, turned back, praising God with a loud voice. He fell with his face to the ground at Jesus' feet and thanked him. Then Jesus said, Were not ten cleansed? Where are the other nine? Was no one found to turn back? and give praise to God, except this one man? Then he said to the man, Get up and go your way. Your faith has made you well. Well, it's a great story in the Bible, and I know that we've heard it many, many times, and I've told it in lots of different assemblies, but it's a good story, I think, with some really important messages there. Jesus said to the man, get up and go on your way. Your faith has made you well. It's a story that reminds me about three things that I mentioned at the start. It reminds me about courage. And that's a really important word. Courage. That the ten men, the ten lepers, were willing to make that journey from wherever they were living, or by themselves. Maybe they had to travel miles and miles and miles to go to meet Jesus, because they knew deep in their hearts that Jesus would help them. But it did take some courage. They probably had to travel a long, long way, and they probably faced all sorts of risks and hazards on their journey. But they were determined to meet Jesus. Courage is a really important word. And I wonder how we can show courage. I wonder how we can, in our everyday lives, wherever we are, show a bit of courage and strength and boldness. As we are singing about in that song, be bold, be strong. How can we be strong? What can we do to show some courage? to be brave, to be strong. Have a think about that. About the things that you might do or say where you can display some courage. And then the second word is the word generosity. Well, that's a very important theme in the life of our school and in our world. 
being generous? Because Jesus was so generous. He looked after these men. He made them better. They were cleansed. In other words, they were made well. They were healed. Such was Jesus' generosity. He didn't have to do that. He could have just turned away. He could have ignored them. But he gave them his time. And he gave them his full attention. He was really generous. I wonder how we might be generous. What might we do to show generous hearts? We might be able to say something to somebody or to show them our generosity by giving a gift. Could be anything. You might be writing a letter or a card or just saying something really nice to somebody. Lots of ways that we can show generosity. So have a think about it and see what you can do. And then that third word, probably the most important word of all, is the word love. Because the story of the healing of the ten lepers is a story of love. That that man, that one man, loved Jesus enough to turn back and to go back to Jesus and say thank you. What happened to the other nine? They just went on their way, didn't they? They didn't think about expressing their gratitude and going back. But this one man, he decided to turn back to face Jesus and to say thank you. And I think that was a great example of love and kindness and generosity. So think about those three words, courage, generosity and love. How can we show courage? How can we be generous? How can we really love each other? Let's think on that as we have a little prayer. So let us pray. Lord God, help us to show courage. Help us to be generous. And help us to love each other as you love us. Amen. And now we say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Well, that was a wonderful prayer that Jesus himself taught his friends. And here's a prayer that John Wesley taught us, which I think is all about courage and generosity and love. And we're familiar with this prayer, the John Wesley prayer. So let's say these words. Do all the good you can, by all the means you can, in all the ways you can, in all the places you can, at all the times you can, to all the people you can, as long as ever you can. Amen. We're going to finish with a lovely song now. Again, it's got some actions in it. Sing along, listen, hum, if you like. Because it's about generosity. Because basically it's all about love. L-O-V-E. Love. Come on now, let's open up the book. Come on now, and take a good long look. And see, God has given us all we need to be free. 
Thank you all very much, all of you. It's great to be with you again, and I look forward to seeing you next time. So take care, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.